A chance to close things out here tonight in game number six. Welcome to EA Sports. Setters both set to dig on in, and we are about ready to go. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. Broken up by Calvis. Quick pass to Koski. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Duquette's taking it from his own end. Cuffs up possession of the puck. And he takes the dish. Poked away in the offensive end. Hayhurst moving the puck through his own zone. Right in the open ice, that one's picked off. The Mavericks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Takes a whack, but still hangs on. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And now it's grabbed by Constantini. Tulsa's got it in their own zone. Here's a pass to the middle. Off a stick and they can't complete the play. Oh, that was like a bomb exploding against the boards. He knew exactly what he was doing with that hit this early in the game. He's trying to send a message and dictate the pace. Grabbed along the board by Duquette. And the save. Takes the feed. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. Now, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. They win the draw and go on the attack. Oh, it stays out. Right to signaling a goal. It, it looked like he had it, but it looks like they're signaling a goal now. Primetime example of why you work on face-off so often in practice because when you start with possession, you get scoring chances. And when you get scoring chances, this is exactly what happens. You put it in. The Mavericks were looking for a good start in this one, and they have certainly accomplished that with the first goal of the game just minutes in. Well, you know they would have talked about making sure that they established some presence and some pace in the game, in particular in the opening frame, James. But to get up a 1-0 lead on your opponent just minutes into the game, that is a fantastic start. Oh, he gets his glove on that and just enough to keep it out. Oh, there's one more. Curry's tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Well, when you're looking for a goal, being shorthanded is not ideal. You're also killing valuable time where you can be pressing when you're PK. The Mavericks get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. the puck and they get that puck down the ice the Mavericks have it now Kansas City's crossed the line and on the attack and that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone what a stop Tulsa's penalty killers get a hold of it puck moved back to center forcing them to regroup takes it and looks ahead Feeds the puck across to Curry. Man advantage is up. Both teams back even strength. Uh, the uh, power play is a privilege, James. Trust me, I know. I was never on it. When you get out there, you have to have some urgency and find a way to get it to the middle of the ice and get some opportunities on net. There was none of that. Here's a chance. Oh, what another save. The Mavericks gain control of it. Kansas City's got the puck against the half wall. Matsushima's moving it ahead. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Oh, what a stop by Morris! Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Taken along the wall by Farron. Rips it! And he can't find it there. Oh, and I like everything about this play until the finish, James. It's all about creating. That's exactly what happens. And then the puck is looking a little fine. 
in as it makes its way towards the net, and it misses. Important task for the PKers ahead of them, up by one, and a real opportunity to protect it. And their first chance to use the man advantage. Power plays are a funny thing, especially when you're down by one, James. You have to act as if you are the hunter, and you have to possess that puck in the top. Good check, frees the puck up. Here's a short pass to Constantini. Picked up along the wall by Boudreaux. approach came on the power play where they knew how to hound it and retrieve it and guess what they're rewarded for their efforts that's what you call taking advantage of a fortuitous rebound and you have to be able to smell it and sniff it out because he has great hand-eye coordination to be able to pick that one up and put it in the back of the net here in the back half of this period we are all tied up in this one Won the draw here in the open ice. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Denies him on the one timer. Oh, what Takes a shot, and that will stop. Here we go. Look at this. They're really a part to squeeze down with the offensive end. And they'll skate it out of the zone. Puck grab by Boudria. Battle along the boards. Scoops up the puck here. Delayed penalty looming. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Koski's hit, not viewed positively in the eyes of the officials. And charging is the call. surprised to see the 1-3-1 one, one again. They had success on it earlier, James. And listen, I love this. I coach this with my team because I love the bumper spot and I love the net front player. You're taking away the eyes of the goaltender, but he can also pop out below the goal line and present as an option. So multiple variations that can strike. Green pressure with the stick. Retrieves the puck trying to kickstart this power play. The Oilers will play it in their own end. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Oh, what a save in front. Morris makes an incredible save from the slot area. That's a beauty. I wasn't sure if he was going to get to it, James, but he sure did. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. The Oilers come up empty-handed on the power play. We're back to even strength here. I really like what this PK unit has done. And James, in my experience, I know what it's like to be out there in a tie game. You want to execute your role to the best of your ability. You know what it's like to go down by one, and it's really deflating when it happens on a PK. Hold on a second, James. There's going to be a call on this as you see the official signaling a penalty. The Oilers will lose a man tripping the call. City's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Here's a shot. That's blocked. Puck cleared from the defensive end. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Gains the zone through the middle. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Tulsa's won the draw in the neutral zone. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Looking to break out here on the power play. Getting a little physical out there, but still holds on to the puck. Big time hit along the boards, and there's no give there. Well, there is isn't, and you can just Feel the rumble of the boards from up here. Just bone crushing, separating body from puck. Takes the pass from the left wing. And they continue to apply pressure here. Kansas City's got the puck inside the defensive zone. 
Clock ticking down here inside the first period. And that's off target as it hits a body. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. On fire late. Everything he throws at the net seems to be going in. When it's working for you, you gotta be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. Butchers won it off the faceoff. Costantini's got it in the defensive end. Looking to make something happen in the offensive side. Fans calling for a shot before it's too late. getting a good sweat on after this first period. We've got lots more in store, and we're coming back with a clean sheet of ice next. Fans, take a look to the sky. The whole team Zeppelin is loaded with prizes, and in your way, all intermission long. And the opening face-off here in period number two is about set. Who comes out hungrier here in this second as we are still tied. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Morris is making a ton of saves to keep this game tied, and his team in front of him need to get the pucks on retrieval and get heading north. They gotta help him out a bit. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. Picked up along the boards by Fox. Here's a chance! Big time stop! And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Sends a pass over. Shot! Oh, comes up with a big stop there. That's the puck behind the net. Taken by Duquette. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Solid check to slow him down. What a steal in his own end. And a quick little stick rip and comes up with a turnover. Calvis has it in the defensive end. Handles the pass. Center and field! And that's stopped! Takes that pass back to the point. Fantastic save! And Attendee's gonna hang on and get a whistle here and a reset. Much needed one of that. Oh, yeah, I mean, they have just taken control of in their own zone, James, and they needed this reset. They needed the goaltender to pounce on that puck. They can all collect themselves and get a line change. Picks up the puck in his own end. The Oilers will play it from the defensive zone. He's got a step! Oh, off the outside of the frame! Offensive opportunities, and they don't happen all the time, especially in a tie game, and an opportunity to cash in right there, and it just goes off the pipe and out. And he denied that opportunity. Centering feed! Picked off in front. Lodges into the offensive zone now on the attack. Kansas City's got the puck. The Mavericks move the puck in the defensive zone. Line change, Harry. Tries to the crease. Scooped up along the wall by Jones. Here's a shot. Oh, what a close save. Wow. Nearing the midway mark of the period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And they win the offensive zone face-off. Now let's see if they can capitalize. And he was right there to make the stop on that play. Keeps a hold of it on the play. Beautiful glove stop on that one. Nice flash from the leather on this save. The shooter's in a grade-A scoring area. And man, he just whips out the glove and makes the save. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. And they win the offensive zone face-off, and here we go. Here's a chance. Hunter saved to keep out. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. The Mavericks are being called for tripping. puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. The power play has seen success tonight, and I like what they've been doing, James, just reading the ice that they've been given. Nothing static, a lot of motion, and really reading where the places to attack is. And it doesn't reach the net because it goes off the stick. Moves it quickly over to Carr, and that's turned aside. 
And they get the puck out. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Misses over the net. You gotta get a shot on that, James. You get in tight, you have an opportunity in that scoring area and you don't even get a shot on net, not good enough. The one has failed to capitalize on the power play. So the PK does a great job, and when you kill a penalty, you create momentum. Great start there. Quick feed down low. I'd like to call this a quiet shot, James. What that means is the goaltender can't see it. So he's listening for it, and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. The Oilers are finding that little extra pep in their step here in the second period and have taken a one-goal lead as a result. Well, they break the deadlock, and that's huge. Now you're playing in front, but I think this face-off and the shift that ensues is critical, James. Now you got your opponent right where you want him. You're back on their heels. Take advantage and try and get another one. Tulsa's got the puck along the wall. Oh, so good. Oh, my goodness, my stop. Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at his finest. The mess played along the wing. The Oilers have the puck now. Moves it to McKee. And now he moves it to Krinkovic. Kansas City's got the puck. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Puck scooped up by Jones. Picked off in the open ice. He grabs the puck here at the point. And he's taken down. The officials are signaling for a penalty. The Mavericks looking against the half wall. Here he is from the slot. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Up by one and you take a penalty, applying some pressure to the PK unit here as a power play as an opportunity to get the equalizer. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. Well, in a one-goal deficit on the power play now, you have to take advantage. You have to find a way to get the coverage moving and find good scoring opportunities. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Matsushima's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. The Mavericks will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Trying to clear the zone. Gets it out of his own end. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. The Mavericks are across the line and into the offensive end. Hoopers lugging the puck. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Tulsa's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Nice job to escape the zone. Huge steal in his own end. The man advantage is over. Well, often in hockey, we say timing is everything. And when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity on the power play, you have to cash in. And the whole bench knows that that was a missed opportunity. In the final moments of this period, Tulsa's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Handles the pass at center. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. Rips it from the blue line. Denies him in front. Kansas City's got the puck along the wall. Takes the feed. Oh, he just got enough of that to keep it out. Sends it down low. Tulsa's got the puck in the defensive end. Gains the zone along the right wall. Center feed. Oh, he comes up with a stop. And the puck's kicked free. Takes the feed. Morris is breathing heavy after that last sequence, James. I mean, he had to be stellar in his own zone, coming up with a ton of saves to be able to keep his opponent at bay. Now he gets a much-needed rest and some water as the puck heads up ice. 
As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. Tulsa's offense has been in full effect tonight as they continue to lead late in this second period. The Oilers win the draw. Smart defensive play there. The Mavericks take it along the wall. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Back at the point, they set it up. Oh, he stops him with the goal. Great reflexes there. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. Kansas City's got the puck inside the offensive zone. There it is. That's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here. And we'll come back. Third period action next. Centerman tied him up. Quick feed to Nafar. Takes it to the front. Quick pass to Duquette. Here he is, wrists it on net. The Oilers have it against the wall. Here they come up along the wing. And he slides it quickly to Buck. Pods running and gunning tonight, James. He got the go-ahead goal earlier, and now he's looking for more. Official blows the play dead as the puck goes out of bounds. Tulsa's outplayed the opposition tonight, particularly offensively, as they lead it early in this third period. The Mavericks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Slides it to Koski. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Here's a pass down low. Tulsa's got possession of the puck. Grabbed along the board by Constantini. Can hang on to the biscuit after that. Moves it to Cod. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Penalty coming up here. The trailing by one and you take the penalty, not the way to get back in the game. The Oilers once again send out their power play unit. Power play scored earlier tonight, and that gives you so much confidence heading into this one. You know how you executed the first time. They'll look, be looking for those same openings. Oh, he's going to get called on that slash. Sends the pass in front. Another pass. He scores. What a play. Well, he certainly looks frustrated after letting that goal in, James. It's almost like a field during baseball. If you touch it, you should be able to stop it. And then he gets a big chunk of that one. Unfortunately, it goes in the netting. Tulsa's taken a two-goal lead to jump out here in period number three. Well, and they're in attack mode, aren't they? I mean, this is just a different team to start this third period. Now it's about maintaining that control, that killer instinct, and trying to ride it to the finish line. Law just won the draw. Moves it around along the half wall. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. From the point, looks to make something happen. Find some space in the corner. 
The Orton's run out of time on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. Sometimes when the PK isn't producing, you gotta find a way to keep it simple. I remember those days, and it's all about straight line skating. Scores! And make it a one-goal game with that tally! And you can feel it coming, James. They've been playing way more aggressive. Their opponent's sticks are getting tight, and they're panicking a little bit. I'm telling you, the time is now. This next shift, they gotta build on that score. They are in one now. Kansas City's got to be feeling confident now, getting that one back, Cheryl. And it puts a lot of pressure on the opponent, James. They've held the lead, and they've given up one. Now they're within one goal, which means it's striking distance in the third period. As a defender, you know when they're coming, and they got to win this face up and dictate the pace. And he was locked in on that save as play continues. tonight, especially offensively here in this third period. Hayhurst, quick stick off the draw, wins possession. The Oilers have it now. Here's a short pass to Lodge. Tulsa's gained the line and into the zone. Kansas City's got the puck in their own end. Sends the pass over. Gains the zone through center. Moves it quickly over to Nelfar. Denies the shooter on that play. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Nice zone entry from the right side. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. And he turned that one aside. From the right side, moves it up ahead. Tulsa's looking to break out of their own end. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. You can almost hear the size on the bench as that third penalty within the frame has been called here. James, a top position as they can't get any rhythm going on their bench. We want to send their man advantage unit out once more. When a power play is executing and it feels right, everyone is clicking. The chemistry just looks like it's synergized. And this team, they're on fire right now. Puck picked up by McKee. Goal makes the save. Stuffs it again. Morris has been great tonight, James. I mean, he's been under. He's really peppered in his own zone, but he's finding the puck. He's out battling his opponent. And it's a reason it's a tight game. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. The Oilers will go to work here in the offensive zone. Stones him on the one-timer. Moves the puck. And they send it down the ice. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Well, this game looks like it's going right down to the wire, James. And one of the most important things to do now is make sure you make good blue line decisions. We got a whistle offside the call. Curry's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Fox won the draw inside the neutral zone. They'll go to work offensively here. And the power play comes up empty. Both teams back to even strength. Well, trailing in this game, James, this was a huge kill. They couldn't lose touch of the game, and they did an awesome job of killing that off. Way too much congestion blocks that. that this would have been a tough save to make, James, as he's trying to out-battle and see the puck with all of those bodies in front of him. But, man, you got to find a way to get that glove on the puck, especially when it's a windmill. He was looking for the flash and dash and just missed. The Oilers are sitting pretty here in this third period, now holding down a two-goal lead. Nice spot to be in, Cheryl. Yeah, the perfect spot.
to be in when you have a two-goal cushion back half of the third period. I think you're enjoying it, but the reality of it is you can expect to push. So it's all about game management right now. Know where you are, make good blue line decisions, and make sure you're not, then, not doing anything risky with the puck. You know that he's a fierce competitor, and he battled to make consecutive saves there, James. Gets in front of the shot. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Here's a shot. And it's stopped by the glove. Nice play there. I love that he swallowed this one up with his glove. It's a real threat coming from the slot area. No rebound to boot. Tulsa's been on a roll all night long, and they continue to lead in the third. Long jam in front, that's broken up. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Kansas City's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. Tulsa's looking to close things out here. They've been the dominant team all night. Hard to see them taking their foot off the gas now. The Oilers win the draw. Moves it to Lodge. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Moves the puck along the half wall. Trying to shake the defender. He's in. All alone. Decides to think about it. Fires it. Too much congestion blocks the shot. And it's kicked away. Taken along the wall by Koski. Let's see what the officials are calling. Lodge is going off to the box for two minutes. Kansas City's special teams have another big opportunity to deliver here. Power play has just been average tonight, but a huge opportunity here. It's a critical time. You have to find a way to gain confidence in these moments. Oh, so good. What a stop. Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to his team that he's behind them. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Uh, they always say to be great, you have to get uncomfortable as we look at this last save. This looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save. That's what he did, and that's why the save was made. Polson's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Grabs control of it at the point. Puck exits the zone. And the goaltender's going to play it out of the crease. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Kansas City's got it along the wall. And he gets in front of that. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a faceoff? Kansas City's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. And some nice footwork to free the puck up to his teammate. The Oilers get their man back. We're back to even strength. And James's PK unit has been perfect tonight, but they're going to have to find a way to be more disciplined, stay out of the box, because you don't want to tax your unit. Battle along the wall. Great reach with the poke check by Jones. They go on the attack from the left side. Passes the puck over to Carroll. The Mavericks have pulled the goaltender here. They've got the extra attacker out on the ice in hopes of a goal. And the crowd's on their feet, saluting the team after a hard-fought effort this evening. A critical face-off looms here. And the extra attacker is on the ice, James. So much pressure on the center to win this draw. Pavers won the draw. Get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Tulsa's been on a roll offensively tonight. Lots of chances, and they lead it late in this third. Peters got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. Made the stop on that play. And we are all over with this one tonight. There's two words in sports up next, Cheryl. Game seven. So entertaining from all angles, right? Your fans, us in the booth, and how many players on the ice? I mean, how amped up are they?
for this Game 7. You know, it's going to be intense. It's going to be something small that makes the difference. But both teams are going to leave it all on the ice to be victorious in this series. Thanks so much for joining us. We had a great time. Hope you did, too. For all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Cebulski. Good night.